Hey everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome to Dot Age. It is a roguelike town builder, which is kind of interesting. Short demo will give you a taste of the game. Content is not final. Yeah. So the developer was kind enough to actually reach out to me about this. I did a thread on advice for the Steam Next Fest, which this demo is part of. So if you guys want to try it yourselves, I will leave a link in the description down below. Uh, but yeah, so you saw me giving out advice and reached out. More or less just as I was launching the demo. So, let me tell you the story of how our very own village was born. I was so young back then. This is the tale of a curse we are destined to face and how we bested the adver uh, adversities through cooperation. Alright, so you can... Wow, there's a lot of different difficulties. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm going to leave it on normal. Traits grumpy. I don't think I can change that. Let me tell you a story. It began, began before all of you were born. We had been traveling for days in foreign lands. This is the story of how our village was born. The story of how we bested the prophecy. It all began in a lush, secluded valley, which we found after several days of travel. Just a few more steps, you slackers. We're almost there. My feet hurt. Oh, I was so young back then. I convinced a few pips to follow me to the valley. This is it. This is the place I told you about. We must stay here. You better not be lying about this new life, M Mattis. Impertinent! Follow my le lead and everything will be alright. Now get to work. We started working right away to build our village. Alright. I think this is the first time I'm telling you this story, isn't it? You should pay attention, as I will repeat it twice. At any time, you can click this button and skip the scene. The village was secluded. Uh, the village was in a secluded, faraway valley. You can use your arrow keys, pan at the screen edges, hold right click to. M there we go, and you can zoom in and out. As the elder of the village, let me tell you that I what I did to make the village thrive. The tent was our village center. It defined the extent of our village, which we could safely build. Okay. So we kind of want as much space as possible, but I guess I can't put it over there. Uh, I don't know. I think this gives us the most amount of space and coverage to some degree. Too low when we start bonking rock. Yeah, so I'll try putting it there. We pips inhabited dwellings such as this. However, over the dwelling, you will see it's already full of pips. Pips, yes, my fellow villagers. I used to tell them what to do every day. Hmm, I remember first sending a pip to get some food. Pips followed my wise advice without question. The pip's now working. You can click the tile again to remove the pips. Pips work to produce resources daily. Hover over a building to see that it'll produce in the top what it'll produce in the top right. We found some bushes full of berries. They would suffice for our first days. Bushes have a limited number of uses. The number on the top left shows how many uses are left. We collected the resources we produced each day in a shared pool inside the village. One food for each pip was needed every day. Available food is assigned automatically. I ensured that each pip was assigned to their daily task. Here you can see how many working pips are in the village total and how many are idling. Also took note of the current day, year, and season. The game advances in turn, so do not worry about time passing too fast. When I was satisfied with the daily assignments, we got to work right away. Pass the turn by clicking the sun. Well... I should probably at least give them some actions, which seems to be that. All right. That at least gets me a bunch of food. I love that sound effect. I was considering turning the voices off, but now I most assuredly will not. Hold on. There was more to it. I recall it now. My memories. Memory retrieved. With my old age, I tend to get a bit forgetful. As I tell you our story, old memories will resurface, so look out for those epiphanies. Okay, pips can now build structures. Any pip has the skills to build a building. Okay, after you choose a building, you'll be able to build it. Rad. The building menu is divided into sections. Go with the services section. Let's see, we need to have thinker's post. Each building had a different cost to build. For this one, it took one day and a couple of wood resources. Buildings were used by pips to produce resources. This one gets a science. Buildings also had special requirements called traits. Building cannot be placed immediately next to another building. Thinking pips need silence. 
I decided where to put the place the building. Place it. If Pip is free, it'll be assigned to the building. Remember to assign a Pip before passing your turn. Okay, so it has to be somewhere kind of convenient. Uh, I guess we could put it like all the way up here, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking here in the corner. With the pips a few days to build, hover over the building to see how many turns are left. Okay. There we go. Buildings came in many different types. Some of them could be built only in sp specific terrains. Others changed production based on their surroundings. Watch, you want to know how I mastered the art of building placement? Okay. I, this tutorial is just going to go. My Agerpedia contains information about buildings, resources, and much more. Be sure to check it often. If you forget about something, just ask and I'll gladly tell you about it. Cool. Alright. Uh, I think we're largely engaged at this point. We got the thinker's post. And there's our food. And then everybody beds. I'm glad this is turn-based. I think I would lose my mind with uh with real time. I'm terrible at that. Pips came to these lands with a little knowledge. They can be very uh they can be very brilliant if they take their time. Some buildings produce science, which is used to advance your research. By gathering science, you'll be able to discover new buildings. Alright. Some pips are obsessed with science, a special resource we could use to discover new buildings. Click on the research button to see what we can do. I kept a tally of what the structures we had knowledge of. Each building required producing a certain amount of science to be discovered. I alone chose where to focus our research efforts. Hover over the building, see its details, then click on it. Berry Hunter. Or Berry's Hunter. Nearby woods. Okay, so... After we discovered new buildings, we gained access to even more brilliant ideas. I can't re recollect them right now, but I'm sure we had plenty of different ideas. They'll come to me later. All right, so as we go further, we'll unlock new tech. It makes sense. So I get one science per day. Food doesn't look like there's much I can do at the moment. I love that sound effect. Now, do we want to make another thinker's post? Probably not. I think I'm just going to probably cycle cycle time a cup uh for at least a little while clear out the clear out the berry bushes oh oh no 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 they are being worked okay so this has six more gathers this has six more gathers and this is functionally infinite at least for a little while so what else can we make we can make that we could make a house and there's a wood collector if i want to start going that direction i kind of do I guess it doesn't really matter travel times or distances, does it? I'll put it there. Okay. Pull this guy off. Start collecting a little bit of wood. Just to get that going, because at some point I'm going to need more. Music is cute. Alright. And honestly, one more turn very saturated honestly isn't much of a problem except for the fact that I'm playing this at 1040 at night and I'm I don't want to say I'm like dazzled I'm dazzled all right so we got the berries hunter all right so now what can we get seeds picker which okay takes a day to build and then potentially two days to get Plants and seeds. Crude well, boosted water events, heals burning with water. Or berry shrubs. So, five days plus a seed makes another berry bush. So I guess we should start with the seeds picker. And then we'll work our way up. Looks like there's more, but I don't have access to it at the moment. Alright. So, food, berries, hunter. So, it looks like the berries, hunter, uh... Effectively works like the berry bush, but gives less, but never runs out. I, it's okay. I don't know. I might stick with it. I might not. I think for now we have enough berry bushes currently being dealt with that I might as well just uh, 
I might as well just deplete what I got. Maybe once the population gets bigger, we'll look into that, but honestly, replanting berries seems like a better idea. Also looks like we have infinite wood here, which actually seems pretty good. So yeah, it's just kind of hang. Eventually, we'll get more people, I think. And then I'm actually going to have to worry about balancing more. I'm jamming to the music. It's nice. It's very medieval. Indie medieval. I'm just waiting for that last science. I'm probably going to have to just mash a bu bunch of things. Oh, I wonder. It's spring. I bet we do have to worry about seasons here. They could be a problem. I guess what we could do is take one dude off of the wood thing for the time being, build a second thinker post, and try and go really hard for science. Seeds picker and pips can change the production of bu production of buildings. Ah, some buildings accept multiple inputs, but we're not doing that yet. Okay, so this one's out. No more resources can be harvested. Terrain details. Oh, is it is it just gone? Interesting. So I can take a day to dismantle. That's not that helpful. So let's put him on that. Take this guy off. Let me get another thinker post right here. Have him work on that, I think. There we go. Yeah, because if I can have two thinker posts. Oh, and we got to change our research. Start working on that. Yeah, the more more science I can get sooner than later, probably the faster this is all going to go for me. I hope. We'll see. Yep, put him on that. All right. And then I might pull him off for one just so we get nice and even. I don't know if there's carryover science. I'm assuming there is, but hard to say. Nope. What? 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 <laughs> the apocalyptic vision! I remember it vividly. Fate. Events will appear. Our village is cursed. Plenty of events with unforeseen consequences may appear when you pass the turn. Between each day and the next, events can be anything. A shift in the winds, the creation of a new bond, symptoms of a new illness, or just good old, a good old earthquake. Most events have adverse effects, so pray you're lucky. Do not despair. I am no ordinary elder. I'm an oracle. I can sometimes predict what woes await. My visions are collected at the top of the screen. However, my visions are imperfect. I can only predict the nature of an event and the day it will appear. The rest is up to you. The visions came to me. I saw the future and the world is doomed. The apocalypse is coming. You brought us here to die? Don't be stupid. We're in this place for a reason. We can stop this. Let me tell you about my prophecy. According to what I saw, we will endure many trials in the near future. I wrote down all of my visions. Our first danger lie ahead. I carefully noted all the days in the year. This is the current day. And a doom event awaits us in a few months. We must prepare for it. You said we'd find a new life here. Disrespectful fool, are you calling me a liar? Work hard and the trials can be bested. This is what I saw. Now that you all know about the prophecy, we need to work hard to survive. All right, so there's some things. Despair domain looms. Domains will govern the life of the pips, determining what events will appear, when and why. Each domain has its own rules, so make sure you learn the differences. Domain despair. In difficult times, the howls of the wind and the harshness of life can quickly drive a pip mad. The despair domain feeds on the inner struggle and the social ten tension of your pips. When its threat is high, pips will perform atrocious deeds controlled by their fears. Place buildings that increase hope in the village and hope and keep your pips happy and entertained to fight despair events. Pips may also find happiness and positive social connections, which includes pets. I saw the future. We're all doomed. Thanks to my visions, I could warn everybody about what would happen. Visions of the future will appear here. My visions are tied to the domains. 
The forces that threaten the village. This is this one is sleeping, so we're safe for a while. But it will change. Omen prophecy may appear in the prophecy book. Nothing can be done about an omen prophecy. The event will arrive and it'll make things worse. Just as predicted. Alright. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to knock him off of that for a hot second. And uh, just have him get a little bit more wood. Okay. I guess I need to wait for time to pass. Okay. Berry shrubs. We can now plant. Okay. Plants work a bit differently than buildings. After they're planted by a pip, they grow without further help until they're ripe. When a plant is ready to harvest, you can send pips to gather its fruits. However, they'll deplete after a few uses and must be replanted. Okay. Well, last thing we're going to need is a crude well. Now, how am I doing on food? I've got 35. We might want to consider getting a well at some point sooner than later. Let's raw resources, dwellings, town... Commoner housing versus town center? Oh. I do actually have multiple op options here. So, seeds picker and berry shrubs, but I need seeds to do that. I think I'm going to skip that for a bit just because I have so many berry bushes. This one might not be within the bounds of my my reach, unfortunately. So, maybe, maybe I should have put this down one more. I was kind of hoping I could expand, or maybe I can. Yeah, so if I do, I can I can expand my my town just a little bit further. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. I'll keep that in mind for the next time. That is better to maximize my space usage. But it is what it is. I'm playing a demo, and for my first time. So I don't know. It's gonna throw me off. Uh, let's see. Oh, you can see what time it is. That's weird. It is currently uh 10:51. I'm a little sleepy. It's fine. It is what it is. I do hope we get some new people at some point, because I think that would give me a little bit more leeway. Currently, I'm kind of stuck with what I got. And I'm probably just going to get wrecked. But the more science I can get, the more I can maybe be prepared. Okay, so we now can make a crude well, and we can research growth. Some terrains may have special bonuses that can affect building output. When a building is that can take advantage of that terrain is built on top of incre increased production output. I remember now we had ideas for so many different types of structures. Sometimes I'll remember a new research section and it'll appear in the research tree. Wait, what? Oh, so this is cultivation. Next up is like plowed soil, but we also have a hunting tent. Hunting small wild animal. And then fishing post. And then a shack. Oh. Oh. Okay. So I can just build one of these. Right off the bat. Uh, let's see. So what do we want to focus on? Because plowed soil is kind of tempting. Uh, let's see. Add soil. What about growth again? Because there's the hunting tent. Gets us some meat, potentially. Or fishing post. It feels like the fishing post... Might be worth it. I'm not entirely sure what the three... Three suns means three days, yes? Does that mean you get less fish? I, I'm not currently sure. Well, considering we've got... Oh no, we don't have any water though. So, in that case, let's do plowed soil. Okay. Pop you off, work on that. So we're going to be a little slow on this one. But yeah, getting some more people is going to be pretty big. I almost should have prioritized that earlier. I didn't quite realize that just build house and they will come. Uh, oh. There we go. I'm glad it, I'm glad it asks me, are you sure? Okay. 
Uh, the power of love. If a dwelling has enough empty space, Pips will arrive and make a baby. And they should if we want the village to thrive. Spend two, send two Pips to that building with some surplus food and they'll spend the next, next night together making a new baby. Any two free Pips will do regardless of their appearance. Pips can be very prolific. Buildings in the village whose constraints are unfulfilled will be abandoned by Pips and cannot be used until the requirements is restored. For example, the thicker post does not want any buildings close to it. We can now make babies. And we now have building conditions. Took a little time to realize we needed more Pips. Was, I was too old, but my fellow Pips were healthy and prolific. It's time for the bird. Oh, wait, it's time for the birds and bees talk. Okay. It's pretty simple. You just need a happy couple and some food. Any two Pips will do. Need at least two free Pips for this to work. Free some Pips. Pips need an intimate place. Right click to open the actions menu. Make Babby. Two Pips. And spend the next day making the baby. I hope everything is clear now. I won't explain it again. Oh, look at him. Just in time for Pride Month, I guess. Alright, why not? There we go. Time for... <laughs> time for Babby. Is Babby full grown? Yep, they now have... It's like a short Babby, but it is still Babby. Oh, and we have an event incoming. Fear threat increased permanently by one. Previous non-strength there. Wild, mild animals next is nothing. When a new child is born, it will take a few turns before it can become an adult. Children are not as strong nor disciplined enough to work, so they just play around their homes all day. Remember to feed them too. However... Uh, however, as they eat just like an adult. Okay, so I do have to worry about that a little bit. Okay, food costs are up to four. Uh, start working on that and back to research. Oh, interesting. Putting the house down seems to have expanded the, um, the reach of my village. Okay, the bar below each domain measures its current threat. Were it to ever reach its maximum, we'd be doomed. If awake, the domain generated fear every day. The higher the threat, the higher the fear generated every day. Not all is lost. We can fight that fear by generating hope. Okay, we can now research community. Some buildings will help you bring, uh, help against upcoming events. They produce some protection against a given domain. And we have special buildings. So, now we can get a meeting point, which costs two people in a day to provide some hope. Yeah, I guess I should. You know what? Building is abandoned. Why is building abandoned? It doesn't have anything next to it, though. Nearby, nothing. Huh. Uh, okay. I'm really confused by that. I guess in that case, let's just go, let's just go for that. We'll have one thinker. I, I don't know what's broken on this one. Because this shouldn't have an adjacency bonus, unless it's the road? It could be the road, interestingly enough. That is currently disabling it. Okay, let's, um, oh, I can't make another. Yeah, so if I put the house down, it expands my current, my current land by one. In that case, put another house down, put a guy on it, keep grabbing the food so we're not losing too much. We're just gonna try and buff our population really quick, because we're gonna run into some manpower issues. And we're not gonna run into berry issues immediately, especially if I can get access to some more. Ah, 
I see. I see the risk of a bad event falling upon us. The vision is confusing, but there's hope. We can fight it. A risk prophecy may appear inside the prophecy. The events tied to a risk prophecy can be very bad, but it's muddy and can be altered. When a risk prophecy arrives, the current protection is checked against the domain's danger. If you have a chance to pre prevent an event based on the ratio of danger to protection, the higher your protection, the higher the chance. Add another vision, a risk event. Okay. Okay, so we get, we need hope to prevent prevent things from going dicey. We've got that going. Two turns. Yeah, I think we'll be able to generate a bunch of hope. There we go. Okay, tennis reached adulthood. We have those. Uh, let's see. So I have two spare people. Do we just chuck him in? Yes. Uh, wait, isn't this one of the parents? You know what? They're very prolific. They'll just do whatever. All right, so this will, this will get us another baby on the way. We'll finish the research for the meeting point. Okay, baby Mimo is born and is, you know what? Like I said, I'm not gonna question any of these things too hard. Okay, now we have the meeting point. So, social, culture, meeting point. I don't think this has any adjacency problems. And let's throw somebody on that. Okay, so what else can we do? Bonfire, consumed by water events, heals wet with wood, attracts fire events, shared table, nearby social, nearby dwelling. Now let's see, you can do some other stuff with this. So this is one food, one water, provides a lot of happiness. Tempting. Nearby water making. Feels burning with water. I think I'm gonna go back to food production for the time being though. Okay, everybody's currently busy. We're gaining food again. Okay, and hopefully that baby will uh, will grow up fairly soon. It only takes a couple of days. Okay, so let's let the two of them go up. We want to get my protection up to at least four, possibly higher. Oh, and threat, threat is getting worse. And at some point we'll want to look into getting a well. Boosted water events. Oh, I see. So if I put this here, we'll get extra. Same thing with these two. So I'll put that there, but we're not going to be able to do anything about it, at least for a little bit. Unless I stopped researching, but I think research is going to be uh, critical for me. Okay, let's hope Mino has aged up enough. Nope, not quite yet. So yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to socialize pretty hard for the next couple rounds just so I don't get absolutely clobbered. Well, this is charming. It very much follows a lot of the standard town builder tropes. I'm not quite sure if I'm getting roguelike yet beyond just trying to decide, you know, between one course of action versus the next. Okay, so now we've got Mino so I can start gaining my food back. I'm just going to build up enough uh, hope that the risk event isn't going to clobber me. And we'll see what happens after that point. But yeah, it follows a lot of standard town builder fare. I think the thing I'd like the most uh, would be slight randomization. Uh, let's see. Special category of tasks is different from buildings. Instead of building something, they change the terrain. Uh, use these to clear forest or reclaim land. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna take him off. We're gonna be at a loss for food again, but I wanna have that well, just in case. Okay, carrot field. 
So one water and seed, multiplied field, seasonal, all but winter. Yeah, I'm gonna start working on that. Cause if we can if we can switch over to farming at some point, I think we'll get a lot more than what we get from the berry bushes, and that'll free up some of my people. But yeah, just in case the risk event is fire. I wanna make sure I'm prepared. Okay. Anything else to do? Not really, just keep losing resources and hope for the best. But yeah, slight randomization would go a long way, and I'm not talking like the levels. I mean, maybe random upgrades or something. Maybe after an event, positive or negative. You know, maybe you clear an event and you get a reward. Test your fate. Uh... Okay, Fearlet... Mimo is now hated. Tenna is now hated. The Elder had a vision of fear. Two pips are now labeled as hated. What? When events are left unchecked, they will often generate some consequences. New previously unpredicted events may appear. Those events will be added to the prophecy book. Okay. Following an event, a label may be assigned to a pip for the rest uh by the rest of the village. It will mark the pip for future events, unlocking subsequent events related to it. Uh we witnessed hate speech. Oh no. Oh, that's dark. Alright. Can I Can I see my people? Village five. Adult pips. Can I inspect what is what does hated do? Uh, these are buildings. Ideas wild. Hate. Stress of everyday life sometimes makes pips intolerant. Okay, hated. Hated by the whole village. I don't know if that actually does anything in the moment. Okay. Risk event is in three days. I think the higher our... Our hope. I have no idea. I think we might just be screwed. Because I think they gain three every round. Which just puts me in a dire spot, doesn't it? Yup. We wit witnessed another hate speech. Why are they just kind of hanging out outside, just making weird gestures? Man, I don't even know. Okay, food's a problem. We currently don't need any of this, so let's go back to berry bushes for the time being. There's almost nothing I can do at this point. We could probably try and make another person. Uh, is the one thing I can think of. But we're running into some food issues. So I think I'm just gonna wait for the next event and then just see what's gonna happen. We could also take, uh, take the research guy off, but I, I don't know. It still feels like research is the means of victory. All right. I have a 30% chance of succeeding here. Yeah, so the greater my hope, the more likely negative events aren't going to trigger. We get herb. Get a couple, in fact. Gains 10, 10 hemp. Traits luck. Rad. Sometimes pips may find new resources in the surrounding village. Those are... What those are may not be clear initially, but keep researching new buildings. You'll surely find a use for all the resources you can find. Okay. So unfortunately, we're going to have to just leave two people on social. Off. Oh, wait, no, no, it's asleep. So I can take them off. Okay, so what are we going to do? This is abandoned. I guess I'm going to just send somebody there to rip it apart because I can't do anything with it. Uh, put it all the way down here? No, because there's a rabbit warren. I'm going to put it all the way up here. Okay, so we're going to need some more wood. 
And I think we are kind of gaining food. One one by one at the very least. Okay. So we built another thinker's post. And we finished dismantling. So I think what I'm going to want to do is throw somebody on the lumber thing and then keep working on research. I can feel it in my bones. The next season is upon us. Get ready for it. Okay. Heat domain. The heat domain feeds on the rising temperatures throughout the village during hot seasons. It's fast, fickle, and ruthless. It may spread flames everywhere, so make sure you keep it in check. Heat changes with the seasons and the weather. It will be replaced by the cold domain in autumn. Once a while, an event will change the current season. Season affects the temperature domain. When autumn arrives, cold starts becoming more dangerous, vice versa. Heat will become your main concern when spring comes. Be careful, as seasons can impact production of buildings, especially those pr that produce food. And we now have the carrot field research. Okay, so that's it for farming. Uh, locked inside the elder's memory, so what else do we have here? Growth. Could do fishing, but that's more food. Shared table gives us social bonuses and dwellings, and a lot more. Tempting. Let's see. What? Well, uh, it's... Puddle just... Gives nearby water making oh nearby water making bonus. Okay. And nearby hemp making. So if if I get the medicinal table and I put it next to the seed picker, I think it'll give a bonus. I don't know if we want the bonfire. And I'm not quite sure what that symbol is. So let's start working on the shared table. Okay, so now we have two people doing research, uh, so that'll only take three turns. And one person that is not currently doing anything. I think, first order of business, let's start... It, do we? Maybe not, actually. Okay, so we have plowed soil, we have a carrot field. Carrot field is multiplied by number of fields, so the more fields I stack together, the bigger the bonus. Doesn't work during winter, though. There's berry shrubs, and we have the seed picker, which can be placed anywhere. I'm going to put it down here. I think. Yeah, because I'll want to put the medicinal thing right there. But yeah, if I can get those seeds, we can start farming some crops. Oh right, I was going to go for lumber. Well, on the plus side, the only research uh, we need after this... Re I mean, really, we just want the shared table and then everything else is kind of maybe less useful. Uh, oh, the other thing is... We're close enough. Why don't we... Um, why don't we add a second babby? Or a third babby to the mix? Oh, wait, will both of these wait? Oh no, I do need this resource. We need the puddle. We don't need socialization. Because this will be waking up soon. Okay, so now we have one more, one more child. Buriri. Buriri. I do like the randomized events. I just almost kind of wish there was like traits or bonuses or something. Okay, memory points. As you play in the Elder Tells the Story, you'll collect memory points. These will unlock new game elements for your current and future games. I guess that is actually kind of useful. Alright. So start working on that. Start working on research. And this will get us some seeds so we can start farming. This will get us some research. So we'll do one more research, and then we'll switch over to, um, we'll do one more research, and then we'll switch over to farming. Okay, start grabbing that. I think we're all good. Oh, and you can see I'm getting memory unlock progress, just naturally now. So, will these things wake up on me? Oh, that's spooky. Having to potentially contend with both of those. 
I mean, maybe it won't be so bad once I get a bunch of a uh, bunch of adjacency bonuses and other things. All right, let's just go back up here. Turn you off. Switch them to lumber. Okay. Oh, we lost a berry bush, didn't we? There we go. I've got three left, so we've got a we got to boogie a little bit on food production. Once I can get those farms down, I think we'll be in a good spot. But for now, I gotta rely a little bit on berry bushes. Okay, so we've finished research of puddle. So cold, puddle. Nearby water making. Uh, let's see. Deals with water. Let's put that there. Somebody's working on that. That'll cost some wood. Uh, we're not currently doing science, but I think it's better that I maybe don't. What was this person on? Or was that Buriri? Oh, this might this might actually be Buriri. Ah, that's why I, that's why I have a another person here. So do we stop research for a little while? I think mainly just because tech tree is kind of locked in the demo. I could do a little bit of uh, fishing and far uh, fishing and other stuff, but I think farming is going to be my main goal. So let's actually maybe start looking into that. So plowed soil has no cost, but add soil. Carrot field has to be built here. So let's start doing that. Start prepping for better food. Because if I can free up my two berry, uh, berry harvesters, things might work better for me. And then we have to worry about food. Uh, big issue is, I don't know how long the seasons are. Uh... Two days to the next season. So, spring is 69 days. So, I might need 69 times how... Uh, ooh, gosh. I might need 69 times however much I have uh, in people. Just to last the winter. Maybe there's other ways. I guess uh, there's there's hunting and some other stuff. So, I, I don't have to do pure agriculture. Okay, and this gets us a pond. I'm pretty sure the weather event might be kind of disastrous, but you never know. Okay, so we want to do at least a little bit of carrots. Okay, what is this? Resource cap. Oh, interesting. So we cap out at 50. We're going to be using seeds here. Yeah, it's fine. Then I should probably get some more houses down and start expanding a little bit. Okay. Heat threat lowers? Heat threat rises. Elder had a vision of heat. Okay, heat threat is set to two for current season. Next in five days, strength is two. Some bil buildings such as plants have a limited number of uses. Okay, when it reaches zero, it can't be used anymore. Oh. When a new season starts, plants that match the season will be refilled. So the berry bushes came back. Good thing I didn't destroy any of them. So we've witnessed summer. None of resources. Okay, so I need some more buckets of water. Uh, so let's throw him back on that because we're going to need at least a couple. And we want to get crops down. So this does, does potentially take a couple of days to grow. Four days. So yeah, let's get that, get that a rolling. 
But once once we have a bunch of fields going, and I mean a bunch, because I'm probably going to turn this entire area just into mega farm, then we have nothing to worry about. That said, I think we're actually getting to a pretty good stopping point, so while I could continue on, I might also just uh, stop where I'm at and say, this is pretty fun. It's well made. It's a pretty good simplistic... Simplistic? I... No fluff. It's a no fluff... Uh, town builder, effectively. And the roguelike elements mean you're kind of supposed to play this over and over and over again. You know, get better at it. Optimize your... You know, how you play. And so on and so forth. My big worry here is that I'm going to get set on fire and everything's going to go bad. But I think that's also the name of the game. You're not really supposed to win. Well, no, you can win. But I think for the most part, you're just supposed to go until you get clobbered. Is what it is. So, anyway, with all that said, Dot Age is available on Steam to download. Uh, as a demo, it's not available yet. I'm not actually sure when it's coming out. It says 2022. So that could be a couple months from now or next week. Uh, hopefully get some more time. It looks like there's all sorts of resources that I haven't even discovered yet. I'm seeing clothing. I'm seeing leather. I'm seeing uh, metallurgy and a, a bunch of stuff. Unfortunately, it's not in the game yet. This is pretty much just the, the basics at the moment. Uh, I would love to see, once again, a little bit more roguelike randomization. You know, maybe every season you get a perk that you can use or something to that extent. You know, the 10, 10 hemp is nice, but it doesn't really change too much uh, about how I play at the moment because I just can't use it. But, you know, something that's like all all berry harvesters gain one extra berry per harvest. Like, okay, that's going to change me from being carrot, from carrot man to maybe foraging harder. Or, you know, maybe you only need one person to socialize or something to that extent. That one would probably be a little busted, but it'd be really interesting to see... Uh, things like that just kind of cropping up here and there as you play. So one run might just be busted strong because your people just generate berries by existing. Uh, or something. But, you know, that's me. I just, I love that level of roguelike variation. And if I don't quite have something like that, I tend to check out uh, in subsequent playthroughs because I don't really know what's different. But, this is still an incredibly competent uh, town builder. And so, while that's not necessarily my flavor, I know some people will go bananas for this sort of thing, and I can respect that. But, for now at least, uh, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games, uh, hit subscribe, because I got tons of them to check out, especially during the next fest. Which, you know, it's not supposed to start until the 13th, but Steam apparently had reached out to a developer saying, Hey, release your games like 10 days before the next fest. Uh, so, uh, this might actually be, like, the month of June might just be jam-packed jam with cool demos. I've got tons of them to check out. So, with all that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.